Earlier this year, I shared an update video letting you know that unfortunately my dad had passed away from bowel cancer really quite suddenly. We found out about his terminal diagnosis in late January and he passed away at the start of April. However, about two weeks before we received my dad's diagnosis, we received some other news, which was that I was going to be a dad. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like you to meet... Well, there's her mother's genes, all right. This is Pixel Baby. She was born just a couple of days ago, and I'm very happy to say that both Baby and Mum are doing amazingly. Uh, Pixel wife was absolutely extraordinary. Um, I couldn't be more proud of her. I couldn't, honestly, at this point, I couldn't be more in love with her either. <laughs> It was not an easy labour, uh, it took quite a long time until all of a sudden baby just decided that actually no, she was, she was ready and she was going to come out. So um, it, was, it was a very interesting couple of days. I want to take this opportunity to just say that the midwives at the RUH in Bath were extraordinary. Uh, it, exactly as we found with the nurses who took care of my dad earlier this year, nurses and midwives are angels, they're, they're miracle workers. They deserve to be paid more. Stop underfunding the NHS and please stop voting Conservative. Now, obviously, our new arrival has completely upended our lives in the best way possible. And so I'm going to be taking some time off work. I'm going to be off for all of October with videos returning in November. However, whilst I'm off, I'm delighted to say that you're going to be seeing videos from two guest contributors. You're going to be seeing videos from Michael from the excellent YouTube channel Distilled, all about climate change. And you're going to be seeing a video from Sam, who some of you may recognise as a PhD student at the University of Cambridge. He was in his own episode of the PhD Stories series. And you may also recognise him from this monstrosity of a t-shirt from my recent event. Incidentally, planning an event with a birth possible at any moment was quite stressful. <laughs> Considering that I'm going to be missing an entire month of income, now is probably a good time to mention that if you like my work and you'd like to support me, then there are lots of ways you can. If you'd like to directly support me, then you can sign up to my Patreon, which will be linked in the description. You get behind the scenes content, early access to videos, and you can choose video topics, though uh, not for a little while. You could also buy my book, Firmament, but there are also lots of free ways to support me, including just sharing one of my videos on social media or in a group chat, that's a huge help. And you could also listen to my new podcast that launched recently, How to Make a Science Video, in which myself and fellow YouTuber Sophie Ward talk to top science creators like Brian from Middle Engineering and Simone Yetch and Tearzoo about how they make their videos. It's available wherever you cast your pods, there'll be a link in the description. To say that this year has been a roller coaster would be putting it mildly. Compared to the start of the year, I will finish it impoverished in some ways, but in others, rich beyond my wildest dreams. My dad did know about the baby before he passed away. In fact, we went from our early scan in one section of the hospital to his ward in another section of the hospital to show him the pictures and um, I, I'm really glad that he knew, and, um, and it must have been bittersweet for him, but I know that he was happy to know that things are, um, life carries on. Oh, God. I feel obliged in this video to head off a bunch of incredulous comments at the pass. I'm sure there are lots of people who will be typing comments about the apparent hypocrisy of me as a climate YouTuber having a baby, and there'll be people saying that I'm, I'm making the problem worse and I'm doing the most destructive thing imaginable. Perhaps there's a whole video to be made about this issue, but for now all I'll say is that uh, this is not a decision that Pixel Wife and I have made lightly, and that the whole point of what I do is trying to keep the Earth habitable and wonderful for future generations. And that's not going to happen if there are no future generations. That's it from me for now. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to spending time as a family and becoming a dad. I was supposed to have somebody here to guide me along that path and to share in 
a new chapter together, but we play the hand we're dealt. My dad's supposed to be here and he's not, and I can't change that. Now, what's important is that I live up to his example. I'm sorry you couldn't meet the best dad in the world, but you can hopefully meet the second best dad in the world. I'm going to embarrass you so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a little while. I was there, he would say afterwards, until afterwards became a time quite devoid of laughter. I was there the day Horus slew the Emperor. It was a delicious conceit, and his comrades would chuckle at the sheer treason of it. The story was a good one. Tor 